Hi, welcome to training session on SAP Data Migration. What is Data Migration? A Data Migration is a process of migrating that is transferring of data from one system to another. It is a key consideration for any SAP implementation, upgrade or consolidation. As the name indicates, it is transferring of data. But it is not so simple just for transferring. A data migration process required in-depth planning about what data to be transferred, the sequence of the data in which we have to transfer, like first we have to transfer the master data, then transition data, then we have to take care of fill mapping, conversion rule, etc. So what are different types of data which we need to transfer. In any system, generally we can categorize data into two major parts. One is known as the master data and second one is known as transition data. Master data are like material master, vendor master, customer master, bill of material, etc. Those data, once we create, we rarely change. It is not frequent change. On the other hand, the transition data are like open purchase orders, sales orders, vendor and customer ledger, etc. Those data are transition, which frequently we generate on day-to-day -day basis. So when the data migration is actually used, a data migration is required when a company is doing a new SAP implementation or they want to transfer their existing data from non-SAP system to SAP system and also if they are moving to s hana from the EC system. So in this case, we use the data migration process because on the left hand side, consider this as the current system of the company which they are using maybe for 5 to 10 years or more than that. So they have the huge data on the left hand side, master data as well as transition data. So in the migrating process, we transfer all these non SAP system or EC system data to the SAP S4 HANA or ECC as per the requirement. Apart from this, means while implementing of SAP, our data migration techniques is also used on a periodic basis. Consider a scenario, a company is already using a SAP system, but on top of this SAP system, they are using some other web-based application or any other software like Salesforce, C4C, CRM or any SRM system. So what they do, consider a preset process. So initially, they create all their prospect, lead quotations into the non sap system. And once the final the sales order confirmation is received, so what they do, they transfer the customer and they create the sales order into the SAP system. So there are different techniques available. Sometimes they can move the data to FTP folder and from FTP they can pass the data to SAP system. This is also one kind of periodic basis data migration. So what are different steps involved in a data migration process? As we can see from this image, like from the legacy system, we have to read data, then we have to do data mapping, then we have to convert data into the SAP format, number of columns and all, and finally we need to import data into SAP system. So let's understand this in more details. So before doing any steps, before performing any migration activity, first we have to do the analysis. Like whether we want to move all the data of all material when the customer or we want to exclude some other data. Consider one scenario, you have 10,000 of customer master, vendor master, but there are some customers like they purchase only one time or we have sell the customer only one time. So we have to decide whether they require to transfer all those details 
where there is only single transaction. So this all will come into the analysis part. Like detail analysis, what data we need to transfer. After that, from the DKS system, we have to extract data. We have to extract data into Excel file or text file as per our requirement. And then comes data cleaning. A data cleaning part means, take example, we have the customer or vendors where the address details are not properly maintained. So before uploading the data again into SAP with the same incomplete details, so what we can do, we can clean the data or we can rectify the data in this process. Like we can maintain the complete address details. And in case of there are open purchase order, so we can just short close or we can avoid importing the data again. Then next come is the design part, like designing of the technical approach, whether you want to upload data as it is, which is received from the source system and do the required mapping conversion in SAP system after accepting data from non-SAP. Next, we have to read data into SAP. Generally, we prefer a text file or Excel file to load data into the SAP system. Data mapping and conversion. So what is NEMA data mapping and conversion rules? Take example, in a non-SAP system, the country name is maintained like this, complete India or let's say Germany, the full name, Japan, full name. But in SAP, most of the time, we work with ID. Like India, we maintain in the description, but in ID, we have only IN. Similarly, for the unit of measure, in non-SAP, there might be a complete full name each. But in SAP, we generally refer EA as a unit of measure. This is ID and in description, we can see the complete description as each. So this part is comes into data mapping and the conversion rules. Sometimes the ID which is there on the left hand side non-SAP system Okay, and in SAP, we are using some other, so that comes under conversions, means convert each to number or convert number to each, that will be known as a conversion. Then, we have to load the data into the SAP database and after uploading all the data, we have to reconcile. What is meaning of reconcile? Just thought check. If from the non-SAP system, we have downloaded 10,000 records. Then we have to reconcile how many records are successfully created in SAP system. If any error, we have to rectify that. Now, we have seen what is data migration, what are different steps. But in SAP, there are different tools. So what are those tools? Just have a look. SAP has provided different tools for the migration activity. The first one is LSMW. It is known as the legacy system migration workbench. This is a preferred way. This tool can be used both by technical as well as functional consultant. This is very simple to use. Second is the BDC that is known as batch data communication. Third is BAPI, business application programming interface. From one to three, that is LSMW, BDC and BAPI. These three are common in both ECC as well as as per HANA system. But apart from those three, SAP has introduced new tool that is called as the LTMC, Legacy Transfer Migration Copy. This is available only in the as per HANA system. Those migration methods are common in both ECC and as per HANA. Apart from this tool to transfer the data from non-SAP to SAP system, there are some other technology also available, like we can make use of web service and ad hoc. But both are most commonly preferred for the periodic pro uh, processing rather than the initial data migration. Ad hocs generally require a middleware system. Without middleware, we cannot transfer data using ad hoc. So those are different tools are available. So from next session, we'll see in details about those available tools. Thank you.